I, uh, I just have so many wonderful memories uh, building this thing. Uh, you know, it, it, it took years, years, and uh, uh, a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Uh, but I can promise you this, it's, it's, it is love. I mean, that is the right word. It, it's love, it's passion, uh, with some uh, fun for the icing on the cake, and uh, so, uh, all right. We're just getting started. I'm gonna go through this presentation with you. So often, I, I wanna share with you things that are kind of going on in my mind, in my heart, in my soul, with you, right? Because we really believe like we're co-creating this company. Uh, friends like uh, Jefferson and Matt, who I've known each other for so long and, and, and uh, just maintaining that vision, my partner Mike, and, and just what we're wanting to create uh, to make a difference in the world. We actually believe what we're doing here can make a difference in the world with each other. So everything rises and falls on leadership. And when you have leadership on the rise, your company's on the rise. But a company doesn't uh, produce product, okay? People do, right? And we stop and we think, what kind of product do we want to build for you? And there's, there's that co-creation again. You know, after we have this weekend, and after we do big events like this, we do, we do circle up with our pack team. And we just listen. And so they're in the field with you, they're doing it with you, they listen to you, and they come back and they say, guys, here's what we need. Here's what we think will work. And that's what you're seeing this weekend. And, and I remember when Scott Ross was just beginning. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy to even think about, isn't it? That he used to be the new guy. All righty. So here we go. Earlier today, I thought that Stephen Covey did a masterful job. Wouldn't you agree? What, is, what does it say up there? <laughs> What'd you think it said? So there's the speed of trust, and then there's the speed of us. And if we, if we widen trust, we'll widen us. Yeah. And then there's the power of us. I... This last month, I went to a big travel industry trade show, one of the biggest ones out there uh, in San Francisco, heart of Silicon Valley, and meeting with all the, all the top companies and everybody who are the major innovators of today in that space. And they also uh, tie in everything to do with social and everything to do with mobile. And I gotta tell you, from every speaker that was there, it became real clear that we've got what it is they're trying to build. Every talk was about how can we get user engagement? How can we get loyalty? And we've got that in spades. We've got that over the top worldwide. Give it up. Really, technology is the easy part. This is the hard part. We did the hard part first. And we're building technology along the way to go with it. But there is a saying in our industry, high tech, no check. You can't get too tech dependent. Don't ever expect tech to uh, make up for that human connection. Never. You know, so often, you know, like last night. <laughs> you know, we're on this open air bus. It's sitting there right with me. We got three generations. And uh, 
That's what I love. People always want to say, uh, you know, people always, you know, thank you and why. And I think, look, every time, and many of you will know this, every time you introduce me as father and son, mother, daughter, uh, best friend, it's like I just make it a point to stop and say, you know, good. You know, God bless you because that's why we started this company. That's why. Why? Why? So that we could travel with our friends and family and create memories that'll last a lifetime because the world is like screwing that up. <laughs> the real world. <laughs> so we have our world. <laughs> It's more fun. And because you do, you want to begin with the end in mind. And the truth is, we're only here for a little while. We're going we're gonna to go. And uh, I know I'm here for a little while. That's why I want to leave, create something bigger than me, that outlasts me, that is a legacy, like Mary Kay. She's not with us anymore. But Mary Kay's still here. And Mary Kay's still dominating. And she, had a, she wanted to empower women. And, I mean, I got a great girl, so I didn't need to join Mary Kay. If I didn't have a great girl, I might join Mary Kay to meet the girls. <laughs> but then rumors will get started, and they would want, so, you know, but I, I, got, I got me better than a great girl, you know what I mean? I got me a girl that makes me great. And, uh, So, I like that on this bus there's three generations. I, I really, because it pains me when you, when you go to recruit your friends and your family and they hesitate or they don't. I mean, I feel your pain. God, I feel your pain. Because you've been here. You've seen it. You know what's possible if they'll just listen. <laughs> the problem is they don't listen. But a picture's worth a thousand words. So would you rather say a thousand words or show them a picture? A video's worth a million words. Don't believe me. Uh-oh. Hey, ah! Uh. It's like in the Olympics, man. We're going for the gold medal. It's be strong. 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 Alright, so here we go. So, so, so look, when we get by all these pedestrians, they got, we gotta be rolling this big boat right past them, okay? Strong! 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 And Matt, I'll tell you, Matt remembers, he, Matt was traveling, you know, and building his team in London and all over the world and stuff, and I was like, dude, you got to stop and smell the roses. It can't be, he's like, work, 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 rank, 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 move up, you know, and he's, he's a very competitive, driven, kick-butt leader, and I was like, man, we got to stop and smell the roses. So we go to London, and we got everybody doing that. 
around London, you know, they think we're crazy. Oh my God. And all the pedestrians, you know, are stopping and looking and pointing. At first they're in shock. Why are y'all yelling at us, you know? So we did all that there. And then we did it in San Francisco. Uh, <laughs> And I do this all over the world. I love these open air buses. <laughs> Not by myself though, there's no way in it. I mean, have you ever been on one of these things and the guy's actually trying to talk? That's so boring. <laughs> so we, the way we do it, we get to see everything still and, and, and we have our own music and we're dancing and sometimes drinking and a little bit, you know, eating, we've taken pizzas up there and so, you know, it's just so much fun. And you got to do this around the world with your teams. I mean, you just got to do it. So a, a group that plays together stays together. You know, on this bus, um, we, uh, like when we're in San Francisco, you know, we're doing the row and we're passing up other buses and hey, hey, goodbye, na 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 na. So anyway, we, uh, we get to Chinatown in San Francisco, right? The big gates and everything, going into Chinatown, love it. And, and uh, we convinced the bus driver to help us make history, you know? And so I was like, all right, everybody, a day isn't wasted if a memory is created. All right, all right Mr. Bus Driver, help us, create, help us make history here. And uh, at the gates of Chinatown, which is on the edge of the shopping district, there's all these outdoor cafes. Everybody's eating and stuff on the patios and all this. And at this major intersection, we do a Chinese fire drill <laughs> off a double-decker bus going into Chinatown. So many times on that trip, we said, dude, you could go your whole life and never see that again. <laughs> and that's the difference between a vacation and a dream trip. And when y'all are trying to sell on price, you're like saying, you're like yielding. You're yielding. You're saying, okay, we're the same, but we got lower price and price, and we'll beat your price and 30% off or 70% off, whatever it is, right? Or half off, right? How about this whole experience? You, you couldn't book that on Expedia at any price. <laughs> so we have price and value. Normally it's one or the other. And value is the bang for the buck. So here it is, we do have this lower price and we have the value. Oh, and you can earn it? Wow. We got a cool thing going. And that's why when I go to these travel industry shows, it's like, I get impressed with some of the stuff they're doing. And I know that from a tech standpoint, we can do what they're doing, okay? And if they continue to lead and innovate because they got those kind of teams in place, fantastic. You know, we'll catch up, we'll leapfrog. I think we can do some things that are extremely unique. Again, that's easy. This is what's hard. This is what they can't duplicate. And this is what creates huge opportunity in the travel space. It's all about user engagement. It's all about loyalty. What does that mean? It's all about us, the power of us. So we heard that trust is the new currency, right? Totally agree with that. Especially in this world where you got Tiger Woods broke some trust, you got Lance Armstrong broke some trust. These are two guys that I really look up to. And it, it hurt me to have them break trust with me. But here's, here's a good lesson for you. I, I believe in the ideals of America. I love my country, but I believe in the ideals of America, and I believe in those ideals for people around the world, just I, from an ideal standpoint. Same thing with Tiger, when he had a respect for the history of the game. That's what I liked. And his dad, the relationship he had with his dad. And then Lance, and just that. You know, it's just, there was things I like. And now I can still hold on to those ideals, even if these humans let me down, right? You gotta expect humans to let you down. But can you forgive and can you extend grace? Do I think Tiger can make it back and be better and stronger than ever? Yeah, and I don't mean as a golfer. I mean as a person. And same thing with Lance. And I was telling Mr. Covey, I would love to hook him up with Lance Armstrong. Could you imagine that? Lance, I think Lance needs him. 
But I, I, I think that people learn through these things, and they grow through these things, and they can be even better after these kind of things. But you gotta have good mentors, you gotta have good coaching. So for us, content is a currency. And when you use that sign, now, I tell you what, can't you now see a difference? When you see pictures without the sign, doesn't it give you a totally different feel than the ones with the sign? Yeah. And, and again, we have to learn how to play team. Don't ask what your company can do for you. Ask what you can do for your company. Because you are the company. And what you think you're doing for us, the company or the corporate office, no, you're doing for the person next to you. Any of you that really step up, really take this seriously, and you create anything, and you're made in God's image, and you're a creator, and you create a picture, you create a video, you create a funny thing, guess what? You just created it for everybody in this company worldwide. Yeah. That's what's really cool about this co-creation, because we're building our brand. So many other people, what they do is they take their pictures, their videos, they upload them to YouTube, they upload them to uh, Facebook, and there's no real uh, vested interest, so to speak. But us, we keep putting our brand out there. Don't you like the idea that, that when, when your prospect says, I want to think about it, you know what they're really saying? I want to Google it. And they go Google it. Wouldn't you like it if they just got inundated with, uh, I mean, just, uh, uh, I mean, their head explodes with so many pictures and videos. Now, are you waiting for us to do that at the corporate office with a few people? I mean, let's do the math on this. This weekend, each one of you are probably taking hundreds, if not thousands of pictures. Do the good ones like, you know, here's the Eiffel Tower, here's, you know, what you know. But do it, and then put it up, share it. And we want to develop the right kind of platforms and technologies to really help you do this, and that stuff is coming. Uh, and I wish we had it now, we don't, but it is coming. But the point is, learn, learn now. You learn how to develop the content now, so when that is there, you're ready to go. Now, all that being said, as, as like the main champion over here for uh, what I envision with social and mobile, with our company in particular, and content, I'm also wanting to make you aware of this book, uh, Face to Face book, which might as well be saying word of mouth is number one. It, it is what it says. So you use all the social media stuff as like a tool, but word of mouth and, and traditional is still 90% of the way business occurs. They've done all the homework, they've done all the studies, and they're saying it's still phone call to phone call, it's still person to person, it's still friend to friend, okay? So I balance it out, and look at what it says right there. Why real relationships rule in a digital marketplace. So the question becomes, how good are you at developing these relationships? Well, what did it for me? I hate to get a little graphic with you. I, um, when I was in high school, and uh, this was next to my dad's restroom, on the, he had a restroom and a table. <laughs> And uh, I know, it's crazy. And I read this book. And if you haven't read this book, please do. It's my favorite book. Mind is the master power that molds and makes, and man is mind, and evermore he takes. The tool of thought, shaping what he wills, brings forth a thousand joys, a thousand ills. He thinks in secret, and it comes to pass. Environment is but his looking glass. Your outer world is a reflection of your inner world. And they themselves are makers of themselves. If you want to reinvent the best you, there you go. So the mastering the art of living, 
you know, a, you know, a days of waste of memory created, and, and, and this quote here from me, the master of living makes little distinction between his work and his play, his uh, labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his education and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide whether he's working or playing. To him, he's always doing both. So, I was at work last night on that bus. I'm at play right now, I guess. I don't know. I get confused. I'm, I, I'd really like to be able to communicate with you. I, I, I have some guilt. Like, I'm going, ah, oh, I hate people, like, trying to friend me. And, man, I can't friend you. It's full. And not on, like, my Facebook page, my normal page. That's because however Facebook does it, right? With the, and then I, so I have this, this page, the fan page, the subscriber page. I'm, I'm, let's do this. I would love to be able to communicate with you. I'd love to be able to share with you. I'd love to be able to co-create with you. So go to this address, like it, and when you like it, all of a sudden you're following me and I'm following you and we're connected. And then we can like, you know, share faster. We can co-create faster. And I, lo I love this feedback uh, because within the company we've got this, you know, whole like research and development concept going on. You know, the, the Skunk Works team, we're gonna be like being able to build and execute some things faster. And so I'm excited about being in that process with you. All right, 50% of the world population, less than 30 years old. I like knowing these stats because I like having videos and tools and systems for these people, just like we've done a great job with our Rat Pack, the millennials. They've really proven, they've really proven the concept. And right here, I gotta give a major love and shout out to Lorenzo, man. <laughs> Dave Townsend, Brian, look. I, it's like, I, it's like, I wish I could go back and be these guys, you know, it's like, it's so, it's so great. I, I have such incredible optimism towards the future because of all, of all the Rat Pack, but these leaders right here that you have are unbelievable, world-class. Lorenzo, I love you, buddy. Congratulations. You're the man. So there are the baby boomers, and the promise there was corporate America, right? And then it became Generation X, my generation, which is, you know, entrepreneurship. What I'm saying is the future of the millennials, which is half the world's population, okay? There's an interesting fact, there's more people, more people have cell phones than toilets. It's true, look it up. So, don't ask me how I know that. But mobile preneurship, the idea to be free, free, free from a boss, free from a job, free from traffic, free from a desk, free, and be able to travel with your laptop and do business wherever you're at, socially, mobily. With travel, what fits better with that than travel? Nothing. God, we've got the deal. Oh. And it doesn't matter what country you're in. Sometimes people in here in America, I've already talked to everybody I know. Oh, really? You talked to 300 million people already? God, you are bad. Well, there's still other countries. There's still other people for you to go talk to that we're open in, you know? So look, you've got a big prospect pool to just start connecting with socially, mobily, but get them to stop and look with you. And, and uh, I'm gonna wrap up here in a sec. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Says Henry. We've come together, y'all. And we're in the process right now of keeping together and we really are learning how to work together. We're doing this as we grow inside the company, learning how to work together as we grow, and I know you're all doing it in the field. All of us, learning how to be one big team. To, show, to prove to you just how we continue to evolve and, and make stuff better, look at that, that was the first you should be here sign. <laughs> of course, you couldn't take it in the swimming pool with you. You had to have a separate suitcase for it. So look, we are, we're using tech, we're getting better. 
Here we go. We got Bert and Ernie. Oh, look at Matt doing it. Matt doing it. Letting his blue light shine last night. Yeah. Some of y'all called it early night. God bless you. We had two other buses. And um, I'm just so glad that y'all decided to take us up on that and go have that experience. You got to learn how to be the band leader. You got to learn how to create the memories. A day isn't wasted if a memory is created. It doesn't say wait for the memory to happen to you. You got to learn how to be the leader and create the memory. And yes. James Lee, Sirwin, y'all are great examples of this, my friend. Jeff and Troy, I mean, you guys, I get pictures from them all the time, and they put they, the Bora Bora video, you know what I'm talking about? Y'all's video, the way y'all are taking y'all's pictures and turn them into videos and then putting them to our song and other things, that was the idea, that was the dream. I respect you and I appreciate you for doing it. Y'all are the positive deviants. Your camera has an HD camera built into it? Has the computing power of NASA that sent the man to the moon? You got this stuff in the palm of your hand. Instead of playing Angry Birds with it. <laughs> how about we play some team here and let's co-create some good stuff, yeah? God bless you. I love you. Let's rock the rest of the weekend. Come on. <laughs>